Blackwell Ghost, it has uh, currently four and a half stars on Amazon, and it says that it stars Ruth Blackwell, which is not exactly true. Uh, I won't give anything away during this review, but it doesn't star Ruth Blackwell. Uh, you'll understand why once you uh, see the film. Uh, I've actually tried to do a little bit of research on this to see what the deal was. Um, in fact, this would not have been something that I would watch on my own. I don't like uh, paranormal documentaries. I don't watch the ghost hunting shows. Um, I don't like the movies, the found footage movies like Paranormal Activity. And uh, I've not seen um, the Blair Witch Project only because I can't handle the shaky camera shots like this the entire time. The only reason that I even uh, took a look at this is because for some reason my wife saw that this was on Amazon and that it was about to expire at the end of August. Well, here it is, September 2nd, and it's still on Amazon, so I don't know what she was seeing there. But uh, I went ahead and just, uh, you know, it's only an hour long. It's not a full movie. It's a documentary. So I figured I'd go ahead and watch it. And I have to admit, I was actually pulled in. Uh, it really surprised me because, like I said, I don't watch this kind of stuff. I don't find this stuff entertaining in the least. I, I'm usually bored out of my mind when I try to watch this stuff. But whoever the actors are, and again, there's no footage, nothing on IMDb about the Blackwell Ghost, which really surprised me. So they've really done a, a great job of hiding all the details on this, which means one of two things. Either this is a legitimate paranormal haunting uh, uh, documentary and, the, and what they captured really did happen or they are brilliantly market, marketing this to the point where uh, it's so believable that you kind of kind of wonder maybe if it is real. They don't say who the actors are, uh, that you have no idea who the director is. Like even on Amazon, like it says, all it says is starring Ruth Blackwell, which is neither of the two people that you follow throughout the entire film. Uh, one of the things I really liked about the Blackwell Ghost is that it didn't just start off with paranormal activity. Well, it, it does in, 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 a, in a short, you know, in the first few minutes, but not the way that you would expect. It's a guy who really doesn't think he believes in ghosts, um, and he just thought he, it's, it's either this or make the zombie movies that he used to make all the time. So it's one of those two, and he decided to give this a try. He is so fun to watch. He is so realistic, so genuine, that you truly do believe this is a real guy making a documentary. And he brings his wife along with him, and the chemistry between the two is phenomenal. I really believed that these two were a married couple, the way they bickered back and forth, teased each other once in a while, but also were both on the same page when it came to helping each other and being there with each other through uh, scary moments and through uh, some of the tough times. I really felt these two were married. I, again, I don't know. Uh, in fact, if, if you know if these are real people or if they're actors, uh, if you've somehow found that out online or something, let me know in the comments because I'd, I'd actually be curious to know. Um, I didn't really get scared on this. It definitely has a creep factor. There is one moment that did get me that uh, I won't, I'm not, I don't think I'm even going to start to say it because it, it may not be scary for anybody else. Somehow it just startled me. But that is a rarity for me, for me to watch any film and actually get a jump scare or get, a, uh, get uh, you know, hairs on the back of my neck going up. That rarely happens. Last time, uh, the last time that happened to me was watching The Ring um, and then also, oh, and also The Grudge. Uh, and for The Grudge, it was mostly because of the sound, uh, the sound design that they created on that. But this didn't have any special effects like that. It didn't have any sound design uh, issues that, uh, in fact, there were some, one of, a couple of things that I did have an issue with are uh, when, they're, when they're in the plane, they actually have their own plane, that uh, small plane where th that they use to go back and forth to locations. And you're kind of listening in on through, through the headsets with them. And it was kind of hard to understand what they were saying there. I don't think it was important, so you're not really missing anything. But that is something that was kind of uh, kind of unnerving, uh, kind of just uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's distracting. Uh, it, it just it didn't really add anything to the to the story at all. They could have just thrown them up in the air and then and then you catch them as they as they uh, get off the plane on the on the other side. Uh, but then again, that also kind of leads credence 
to it being a real documentary. Because if this is somebody who is not a professional filmmaker, just putting it together on his own, then uh, he would actually have elements that wouldn't make much sense because he's not a film producer. He's, you know, he's just some guy making a whole movie, essentially. And you know the editing on that kind of stuff is going to be rough. And that's kind of what you see here. But that being said, uh, it flowed very, very well. It's a slow build, and it does get more intense as it goes on. It does not uh, give you any conclusions at the end. You're kind of left to decide whether or not what you've just seen is real or not real. But regardless, uh, I think that it's definitely worth the watch. In fact, I will put a link to it uh, down below in the description. And you might notice that that is an Amazon link. Uh, and that's because I, I was uh, just recently um, made an, an Amazon affiliate, which I'm really excited about. But I think I have to legally let you know that I am an affiliate now. So if you follow that link and you purchase something, uh, then you actually are benefiting me and my channel, which is a great thing. But I think I have to legally tell you that now. So anyway, if you want to check it out, you can. It's called The Blackwell Ghost. It's currently on Amazon Prime. And uh, I don't know if you can find it elsewhere, but I'll give you a link to at least the, at least the one on Amazon Prime. You can watch the trailer for it and see for yourself. The trailer, however... Uh, does not do it justice. The uh, The film itself is actually a lot more fun. So I hope you enjoyed my quick review. It's not normally something I do, but when I find something that's really worth watching, I figured I better I better tell you about it. Thanks a lot for joining me, weirdos. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like if you like this kind of thing and you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell, and that way uh, you'll be notified when I post new videos in the future. And as always, I really appreciate it if you like, comment, and also share this on your own social media: Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, LinkedIn. If you're still on MySpace, go ahead wherever. But uh, sharing it with others really does help benefit the channel. You may have noticed I just hit eight thousand subscribers too, which is really, really awesome. So uh, looking for that 10,000 mark. Uh, that's, that is a benchmark. I don't think that, I don't think when I started YouTube that I would actually get to, but now we're actually seeing that towards the future. That is amazing. So, and that's because of you guys. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate you. Hope you have an amazing uh, extra long Labor Day weekend if you're in the U.S. Otherwise, just a great weird weekend for the rest of you. Thanks.